Hello everyone, Tim Brown, my Apple Podcast. For this episode, I want to feature KidPix 3D for the Mac. KidPix 3D basically is a dynamic creation tool for creating all types of artistic forms of expression that include animations, videos, slideshows, you name it. The application is pretty awesome. So let's take a look at KidPix 3D and explore all the features. Like a lot of apps for kids, the app comes with instructional guides so that you can learn everything there is to know about KidPix 3D. For example, you can click on the question mark, and when that is selected, you can then go through and run your cursor over the different features to receive an explanation. Click to add a background to your picture. For parents, it's also nice to be able to turn KidPix into kids mode or small kids mode. This will disable features like printing, saving, or even prevent kids from exiting the app. What is so exceptional about the app is the rich media library. So for example, let's put some backgrounds. With backgrounds, you see you have a lot of different categories, including, believe it or not, 3D scenes. And you can drag those scenes right onto the stage. One thing I like about the app too, it has beautiful sound effects. Say for example, if I wanted to erase this scene, I can use this hose to wash the entire scene away. And I can start from scratch. You can also add stickers. And you can add animations as well. And believe it or not, you can also add sounds and movies to your project as well. So with sounds selected, I can go ahead and just drag one of these sound effects onto the stage. And it sort of brings my scenes life. Let's go ahead and play it back. And what's really nice, you can save each scene to a slide that can then be created into a movie later on. So for example, let's go ahead and click, click on this box in the bottom right corner. It adds it to a slideshow. I'm then going to click the slideshow icon. It's going to take us into another platform here. And you can see a slide has been set up. And I have 12 slides that I can use to create movies with, with transitions in between. Pretty nice. Let's go back to our project. So in addition to sounds, you can also add movies to your project. You can import one from your movie library on your computer, or you can just use the examples that are in the libraries provided. So you have a nice animation here, and you can also add animations on top of that as well. So you just browse to the library until you find something you like, and just add that right to your project. And of course you can resize all the elements that you bring in. Let's go ahead and play this back. And as I mentioned before, every scene that you create can be saved as a slide. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. If I went over to slideshow mode, you can see that I've now added that as an additional slide. Let's explore some more features. The application also comes with tons of drawing tools. So let's go ahead and add another background. In this, in this case, we're going to add a 2D background. The app comes with some great features, believe it or not. You can apply these features to any photo that you add to your project. You can also use any of the drawing tools. And down below, you see that the menu changes, and you can choose all types of brushes, colors, and there's even an eyedropper tool where you can pull colors directly from the picture that you're using. And then you can begin painting that color right into the picture like so. Of course, you can go back and add more animations to complete your project. And as I mentioned before, each scene can be saved as a slide that can be incorporated into a movie later on. So when we go back to the slideshow mode, you can see I now have three slides set up. And you can add animations in between each slide by turning on transitions and then going through and picking the transition that you would like to occur between each slide. And you can also add soundtracks from your iTunes library. You also have several export options when you're done. For example, by clicking on the print icon, you actually have the option to save as a full page storybook, comic book, card booklet, and so forth in the form of a PDF. 
You can also save your final project as a movie file. And you can include 3D effects if you like, or you can turn this feature off. Let's go ahead and play back our final project. KidPix 3D is currently $49.99 in the Mac App Store, and I highly recommend it. This is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of My Apple Podcast. Check me out next time.